Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus, SUV Talk. If you follow this channel, you know I bought this 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited this year for this channel. Uh, last year I bought a Ford, this fall I buy probably a Ram, next year I buy a GM. I just buy trucks that I really like doing long-term long reviews and long-distance driving. I like doing both. One of my complaints with this truck has been some of the design in the rear bumper, and I actually bitched so much about it that Toyota sent me a step. Yeah, that just happened. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and install, I'm gonna tell you what my problems with the rear is. I'm gonna install the step, I'll tell you the challenge I had with installing the step and how I kind of got the result. I'm talking to some engineering folks and we'll kind of go around the whole thing. I'll give you the parts number two. I know a lot of people are trying to order this and the parts department's like way behind, accessories way behind as it is. But, so let me, let me show you what the problem is. So, you know, we have the tailgate, a decent step here, right? So you can get in there. But they did like the SUV cover here, like the Tahoe, like an SUV cover, which by the way, a little gap there. Uh, and I just, I hate that. And the reason why, I actually was going to film this video and I realized I left stuff in my bed. I thought that doesn't look good on camera. But here's the thing. I can't reach. It is the Bermuda Triangle. Everything you want in your truck bed goes to the back of the cab. Right? So I can't reach there. I can't... I can't get in here. I can do the old man butt hop thing. But it sure would be damn nice that when this is down... I get a step coming down here, like in higher trim levels, I have a step that comes out automatically. In my case, a mechanical step, and I'd be able to put that step down, come up here, grab hold, walk in here, grab the stuff and get it up. That's what I want to have happen. That's what I have. So let me get this step and we'll kind of lay it out what it is. Okay, so here we go. Here's the box that comes with, with parts. Let's go through that first. And I've opened this a couple times, but we have the bracket. And this goes underneath the truck, underneath the bumper, and this goes down. This is, we'll talk more about this. This is one of the problems with the step. I have that. Um, I have the arm. This, so the step installs. This pops up and down, and then that way that step pops out. So you have bracket, another bracket. I have some bolts, okay? And I have... The step with the uh, awesome push down thing. <laughs> so let's talk about the step first of all. I actually had to reach out to get directions on this because they didn't have directions available yet. Um, I want to make sure I start with what am I start with? Start with this. Okay, here you go, sports fans. Part number PTS three zero hyphen three four zero 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 hyphen BK. The, or there's another PT number there. That's your part. That's the part you're looking for. You have to get the glare on the camera. Like, sorry, I got, I got lights on behind, but that's, that's the part number you're looking for. And it's basically pretty simple, right? So, uh, let's see, that's the second step. This is step here. Come on. All right. So you take the bracket, this guy, and you install it into a pre-drilled holes. Slides in there, comes to, then you get that all screwed in. And then you take this guy and hook them on to that said bracket. And then you put the screws in here and that connects to the step. And you can see how nice and tight it looks like in the photo and where it gets installed. So let's, uh, let's, let's, get, uh, let's get on the ground and figure this out. All right, here's what we're looking at. We have uh, the bracket here. This part here goes inside of this, okay? There's a hole here and that's where this comes in but upside down, right? And so then I have uh, a bolt hole here with a screw in the back. The reason why I had a problem doing this is you can't, you can't get this installed with this bracket here. If I can, I'll bring the camera over a little bit to see if I can show it to you a little bit more. Little tight quarters in here, but let's see if I can show it a little differently. But yeah, this this bracket here stops it from going in. You just you can't get it in there with that bracket. Okay, so all right. So what we got is we got this this bracket here. The way this part is cut hits there. It just if they shave a little bit here or shave move this, you know. Uh, move it away from the bracket, make it not so big, it would fit in there perfectly. So that's why I haven't installed it because I wanted to share this with 
chief engineer Mike Squeers, which I did in Michigan, about the fit. He said it wasn't his team who did this, and so he reached out to the other team, the accessory team, different company, whatever, and they're going to work on that. But, you know, as a journalist, I wanted to make it work and make you guys have a good, you know, have an easy process. The bracket isn't included in the instruction manual to remove this. So somebody, uh, I don't know, something got weird. So, these brackets are a push pin bracket, which I usually mess up when I do this, but I'm gonna see if I can't get it out. There we go. So I got it out in one piece, that's nice. But again, don't force it. So I'm gonna take this bracket and kind of see if I can't move it out of the way a little bit. And then this should slide. in there. Okay, still not going to work. So there's a bolt on top of this bracket, which I guess I will, uh, I'll have to take off. It's gonna be a little challenging. And we'll try this. Uh, let's see, try it one more time. So this, it's gotta go like this, and it goes in like that. There it is, boom. So then I can, I can probably reconnect this bracket when I get a chance. But I'm going to grab a bolt here. I'm going to thread this in to make sure I don't move this, lose this bracket. Yeah, one more bolt hole up here. Which that's gonna be a pain to, to get in. I wonder if I can just take off this. Yeah, I'm gonna take off this piece here and see if I can't get better access to it. No, I can't. I can move it out of the way, but I can't take it off because there's another bolt behind that bolt. So, gotta do the mechanic thing. Gotta hope and pray you find the bolt hole. Okay, here's our finished product. We have the bracket in, the bolt came through here, we tightened that up, and we have that bolt in over there. So we have it all lined up there, put all my bolts back. So we'll install the next step, which should go right up, up here, with some bolts coming down. So let's get that done. All right, so I just figured something out. They sent four bolts look identical, but one has coarse threads, the other one has fine, fine threads, machine threads. So machine threads went on a truck, that bolt went on super easy, took it out, took this out, put it on there, right tight. So I got those all tightened down. Uh, I'm going to torque them down. There's a torque measurements as soon as I find my torque wrench. <laughs> I'll torque them down. So I have the coarse threads, which, double check the, the manual, use provided coarse thread M10 bolts to attach assembly to the frame mount. So these should go in. Again, they're stopping so short. And being I gotta be this upside down, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little lube on these, and I'm gonna work them in and out and see if we can't get those to go in better. So 
So this is a water-based lubricant, which is this WT, WD-40, right? Water-based thing it is. One or two. Yeah, so I have uh, WD-40 and I have PV Blaster, two different types of penetrating oil and stuff to get stuff in there, loosened up in there. But I'm going to get these in here and I work them in and out. That way, when I'm upside down, I want them to go in like, like butter. I want them to go in easily. Yeah, there we go. I've noticed that if you've ever done this kind of repair work, a lot of times in the factory, they get a coat of paint on there or in the grooves or something. It just doesn't sit right. So this is my uh, Tim's Tech Corner tip of the day. My amateur uh, mechanic, I'm really not a good mechanic, but <laughs> that's my tip is to uh, work it in there just right. I do the same thing over here. Get this in here. That way, again, when I'm upside down, I can put these in without a problem. Yeah, that's, that's going in like butter. That's what I want. Okay. Okay. Hanging by a thread there, but that's okay. I want to get... Okay, I still want a little play with it, but I want it in there so I can line the other bolt up. Okay. So I'll lift the camera up and you can see those bolts and then Since I got them airtight, excuse me, since I got them finger tight. Final step, so we get, this is out like this, goes out, goes like this. Okay, pretty simple, but we gotta put some screws here, which are gonna be right here, some nice Allen wrench screws, blah. And uh, yeah, so I got three of those, three of those, so get my Allen wrench. All right, apparently you gotta put the these things in these holes, but there's five of them. They give you three screws. They say skip the first one, do the second and the back two. So we'll throw that in there, throw that in there, and throw it in there. And then we're supposed to go on. I wonder how it goes. Let's check the instructions one more time. Oh, it sits up on top, and then those screws go. Th so the screws go underneath the bracket and they go in to these. That, that's how it holds them in place. You have the nut on the top and the bolt on the bottom. So underneath again we go. Okay, so push, comes out. Okay, let me show you a little closer. Okay, so, and then push there on the side, okay? Now, that allows me to do is it should allow me to get up there. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, so tailgate down, but step down too. 
So that's kind of nice. Step. There. Get all my stuff out of here. Then, should be able to just step down. And, oh. So I'm not as agile as I used to be, but that's gonna work a lot better. So this is what I was looking at right there. See that? Just needs to be pushed in, but as I push that in, uh, it needs like a bolt through there or something like that. That's what I was looking at. I'm gonna have to find a new torque wrench because my torque wrench is about that long. I'm not gonna get these bolts torqued down, but I got them pretty darn tight. I feel pretty confident in it. And the torque ratings are kind of minimal. It's 33 foot pounds, which is really just po really tight. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Step looks pretty good, installed pretty nicely. I'll show you some video here about um, how it looks. Or maybe I'll just cut the camera right now. And we'll talk about, I know one of the questions was, how does it look on the bumper? There it goes on the bumper. So there's your top down kind of view. Mostly hidden, I got a little piece six out here, which isn't that big of a deal. Mostly hidden on the side, I'll take the, push sticker off but yeah so that's how it works and pretty easy operation now all right now let's go through a few more details at the time of this filming I don't know how much that stuff is I have no idea um, I've been trying to find it on parts catalogs on toyota.com and stuff like that and I can't even find it so you have the part number there and it's probably backward like most things so sorry to get that information for you but that is how the step installs pretty nice it goes in there just remember there's two different versions of those bolts there's a coarse thread and a fine thread and yeah, I probably could read the structures a little bit closer and fix that. But everything went in pretty nicely, so as long as I move that bracket, which is, that's the big deal. Get that bracket out of the way, you can get in there and install it. So there you go. That is the step for the 2022 Toyota Tundra. For more, check the videos over here. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.